Let's draw a pie chart with Python. Now, the library I'm going to use for that is called matplotlib, and we'll just make a simple pie chart and show you how easy it is. So let's just jump into it. First of all, if you haven't done that already, you will need to install uh, matplotlib. To do that, you go pip3 install matplotlib. I'm using pip3 because I'm on Python 3.9. Now, in my case, it says requirement already satisfied. If you had not installed it, it would have installed it for me. Once this is done, we have to first of all import it. So we go import matplotlib dot by plot like so as plt. So that's going to be the alias for it. That's a fairly standard one. <coughs> uh, by convention, it's plt. Of course, you can use something else if you want. Now, plt, once this is imported, you need exactly two statements to create a blank uh, figure, right? So let's just do that. plt dot figure. And I gave it a fixed size, first of all. Fixed size, and the size is in centimeters, so I'm gonna go six by six. So it's a six by six uh, figure. And after doing that, I go plt dot show, and that's it. And if I've done this correctly, if I run this at this point of time, we just because of these two lines, we should get let's run it right we should get a six by six figure of course there's nothing in it right now we just put a pie chart right here so that's how easy it is to just get started uh, with plotting with the matplotlib library now between these two lines let's create a pie chart the first thing we need is a set of values for which we want to plot it so let's just create a variable called v you can call it whatever you like it's basically an array with some values so i'm going to have 12 15 these are just random numbers that i'm sort of thinking of and putting in, I'll have, uh, let's say, five of these. And um, then I'll go plt dot pi v and save it and run it. And if I now go there, sorry, this is from the last run. There we go. We already have a pie chart. It has one, two, three, four, five. Uh, slices it has auto selected the colors of course there's no labels on it because we haven't given any labels yet but as you can see it already looks uh, quite pretty so let's do the labels now let's see um, I'm gonna call another variable called label or let's just call it lab <clears throat> this is another array which is gonna have five elements which will correspond to the five, ele five elements over here right so I'm just gonna give them names I'm gonna call them let's say east west north of course, you can call them anything you like. These are just uh, the labels that are coming to mind. West, closing quote, is here. North, south, and then uh, we need a fifth one. Let's just call it Zen for what of a better word. Okay, so now plt.py, and now let's take a look at all the parameters, right? So we gave basically the x parameter first, and now we're going to give it the labels parameter. So we're going to go lab else labels and we're gonna set it equal to lab array save it and run it and if I just close from the last run I get another one right now and now you have the labels north west east south and Zen pretty easy huh now one more thing you can do immediately is to set the percentages for these right now you have all of these but you don't have the actual percentage printed on these pies <clears throat> as you would like to do in some uh, some pie charts so let's let's fix that right now and to do that, I'm going to have this particular um, this particular parameter auto PCT auto percentage auto PCT, and we're going to set it equal to percent point one F. Save it, run it. Come here, and we see now that the percentages are displayed, but it doesn't have the percentage symbol on it. So let's do that as well. And I'll just explain what this means in a minute, but let's see, percentage, percentage, and if I save it now, I run it one more time, I get the percentage symbol. So let me explain how this is working. Basically, inside it, this is a format string. The first sign is saying that you need uh, a percentage on your pie, uh, on your pie slices. The point 0.1 means one place decimal, so if I move it to point 0.3, it's gonna become uh, three places decimal like so there you go three places decimal um, take it back to one 
the percentage percentage at the end because percentage is a reserved keyword because it indicates something so if you want the percentage symbol here uh, you have to do it twice and that's what i've done here and this will set up the percentages right so that's a nice little graph here now one of the things that sometimes you see in uh, pie charts is one of the slices that you want to focus on is expanded for example we want to focus on west so you know you just move the west slice out a little bit uh, we can easily do that by an array called explode. First, we make an array. And let's just have, uh, again, it'll have five elements, one corresponding to each of the data elements. Uh, we want west to stick out a little bit, right? So that's the second one. So for the second one, I'm going to say 0 0.1. This is the amount by which this slice will be moved. And over here, we'll say explode equal to E. We set it equal to that particular array. We save it. We run it. And uh, now... We have West sort of sticking out a little bit by a little bit of amount. You can do multiple as well if you want, by the way. So this is 0.1. We can also do 0 0.3 for another one. And uh, that will show up just the same. Right. So this is more. This is a bit less. You get the idea. So that's basically a pie chart. It's quite simple, really. Now, it would be nice to have a title on the whole thing. We can add that over here. PLT dot title. And you're going to say my pie chart save that let's take a look at it and uh, yep it says my pie chart right up there okay let's just move this one back to zero there we go all right so that's our pie chart um let me just show you one more which is actually a fun one it's almost like an easter egg so you can also do plt dot uh, xkcd now if you have seen xkcd cartoons it's cartoon strips other comic strips then you will know what this means if you haven't, I highly recommend you look it up. But basically, it just adds a little style to it, which is like a cartoon strip kind of a style. So you get all these squiggly lines. It's more like an Easter egg. I don't think you'll use it in a serious presentation, but it can be fun to play with. So I just added that. And uh, that's actually pretty much it. That's how simple it is to make a pie chart with the matplotlib library in Python. Uh, there are other parameters to explore. So if I just go comma here, uh, you can see that uh, you can also set, for example, the the colors uh, I haven't got a colors uh, so, so I'm using default colors right now but you can actually have an array of colors uh, and then it'll take on uh, those colors for for each of the slices but basically uh, the basic functionality is as I've just demonstrated uh, thanks for watching